The Orange Mound Postal Facility shooting is one of many instances where we've heard about allegations of bullying in connection to shootings. One expert I spoke with believes that these tragedies could have been prevented had someone stepped in. This week, there have been at least two instances where alleged bullying may have played a role in shootings. An incident involving juveniles in Frazier Sunday to now this postal facility shooting. It's important that we address bullying at the source when it's happening and we don't turn a blind eye to it because tragedies like this are often the result. The mother of the accused gunman in the Orange Mound Postal Facility shooting where two employees were killed told the Associated Press her son, John Haley, was bullied at work. It's something nationally recognized anti-bullying expert Jody Blanco says is not uncommon. When that rage festers, anything can trigger it. And I can tell you as a survivor and an activist in the field that unless we really address the situation at the core, we're going to continue to see these types of circumstances. Blanco has made a career out of helping schools and corporations implement training on bullying. For those being victimized, she says it's best to keep a record when the incidents occur. You need to communicate, number one, as specifically as possible. Document the incidents of abuse. When did each incident take place? Where did it take place? What happened? And if there were any witnesses? Documentation is a powerful tool because it's irrefutable. Blanco says some of the signs to look for is if someone is being isolated or their mood is constantly changing, but encourages everyone to play a role in what has become issues in schools and workplaces across the country. Keep asking, keep trying, talk to friends, colleagues, co-workers, loved ones, do whatever you can to intervene. And sometimes, everybody look at me, sometimes the best form of intervention in any bullying situation is simply to step up and be a friend. If you know someone being bullied, there are a number of resources across the community. Memphis police tells me that an intimidation report could be filed against the perpetrator, which is considered an assault. Reporting here in downtown Memphis, Jordan James, WREG, News Channel 3.